Hey, this is Alex from Merchati CRM and today I'm going to show you how to configure uh, integrations and how to make sure that you have your Google account linked up to Merchati CRM as well as Facebook and Instagram. And let's switch here to my um, uh, my Merchati CRM. And basically what we have to do is we need to go into settings at the bottom left. And then in here we have integrations on the left side and then you have sign in with Google. So I'm going to click sign in with Google. I'm going to bring up all my Google accounts, the ones I want to link. I'm going to link up this one. Okay. And then I'm going to go allow. Okay, um, so it's telling me that I do not have any business locations at the moment. So which business would you uh, do you want to link to this location? I don't have any business locations in here. I'm going to leave it like this for now. Okay, but then I'm going to go um, and so, so Google is pretty much linked now. Now let's go to Facebook. I'm going to connect, allow cookies, oh, okay, I'm going to go, it, I have a pop-up, you won't see this pop-up, let me log in in Google here, in Facebook, sorry, it's pretty much the, the Facebook pop-up which is asking me to log in with my password, okay, it's in a different screen, one second, I'm going to log in now, on get my password right i might need to confirm this on my phone because every time somebody is authorizing on a new window or browser with the facebook account facebook sends you a notification on the phone where you can um, say yes this is me i'm just gonna say never to this okay Right, so now Lead Connector is going to ask me what would you like to give access to? And yeah, you really need to see this one second. Let's move in here. One second. So after I logged in, you're going to see something like this, okay? So you will see a list of groups that you need to se to select. So um, for Airchati to be able to, you know, um, get data from. Or you scroll down. Plenty of groups here that I am joined on. Okay, so these are all the groups. And basically, it's just asking me which groups would you like to allow AirChatty to, you know, um, get data from. I'm going to go with, I don't know, let's go with one of my um, recent ones. Let's go FT1. Look, this was a test group. I'm going to go FT1 and search for this everywhere where I have FT1. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Untick this as well and just tick F51. F51. Right, so F51 is just in do these two locations. That's fine. Then I'm going to go on the bottom. And click continue. Right. So now select which Facebook page would you like to link to this location? Okay, and I can link just one Facebook page for now. I'm just going to link this one. Okay, it has an Instagram. Instagram is available for this account. Why? Just this one appeared in my account, in my, in my drop down now, because it's the only one that has 
Facebook and Instagram associated. So if you don't see your page here, just make sure that you go in, uh, in Facebook, uh, in settings and you link up your Instagram business account to your Facebook as well. And then you'll be able to see it in this drop down. Okay. Now I click connect. And that should be it. Now let's go back to the other monitor. There you go. Now you see it's connected here. Okay. It was connected. And I can select an, an advertising account as well, like an ad account. I can select one of my multiple ad accounts here. Um, so uh, if I want now, I'm going to select this one. Okay. And, and basically, um, now I have my Google account linked and my uh, Facebook Instagram account linked. The problem with my Google account is that it doesn't have any business like Google My Business locations on map under this one. So I'm going to have to log in with a different one in order to have everything prepared. Um, and I will do that for the um uh, for the reputation management module okay right now if i just want to use the calendar or if i just want to use the basic stuff that um air chat crm can do with the google account that should be enough but if i want to manage my google business page like this one google my business then i need to have a business under my google business account which i don't on this one you will see it um in the next tutorial so for now it's fine because i i the it, 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 i just showed you how to link your google account in here okay right i know one thing uh if you refresh this page some other stuff should appear let's see on the google No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, that's fine. So let's see what can you do with this one. So with Facebook, receive Facebook Messenger messages. Okay, you can enable this. And then Instagram, receive Instagram DM messages. Where would I receive these ones? Well, let's test it. So if I go now, the page that is connected is called Better Seen Online. So if I go on Facebook, as a normal Facebook user, I'm just going on my phone now, okay? And I search for Better Seen Online. Chats. Better Seen online and if i just send a message like hi test air chatty okay so what's gonna happen next is air chatty will pretty much receive a conversation there you go okay straight from messenger let's try the same thing through instagram if i go here and i search for uh better in online and i go message by test two I'm just going to put this to send. What's going to happen? I will get an Instagram message here. So you see how easy in two simple steps I, I managed to hook up my, um, my Facebook and Instagram page straight into air chat CRM. now um 
Can I reply back from here? Absolutely. I can go here. Um, Facebook message. And just click. Hi Alex. And. Straight away. On my phone. I go to messenger. Yes. I've received it. Okay, the same thing with Instagram. Instagram DMs, hi Alex. And we can reply from here. We can attach uh, files, we can put emoticons, we can use a template, or we can request the payment through a payment link. Okay, there's many things that we are able to do right now with Air Chat Sierra, but the fact that you can connect Facebook and Instagram is absolutely brilliant. Let's have a quick look at our integration with um, with Google. So now if we go to uh, calendars and uh, in calendar settings, obviously um, I think this was anyway covered by um, uh, by Mark. But just so you know, after you connect your Google account, you have local service ads uh, activated in connections. Um, you might have a lot of other things that you can activate after you link, link up your Google account. But the main reason why I wanted to link up a Google account is to show you how reputation management uh, works which i'm going to do in the reputation management tutorial so for now you just know how to connect your google account your facebook and your instagram account and we'll talk more about the integration at uh, a later date so thank you very much for watching this tutorial today um, like and subscribe and if you like this video i'll see you next time goodbye it's Alex signing out. Goodbye.